Hi students, I am Sumalata. In today's class, I am going to teach you about electron affinity. Electron affinity is nothing but uh, the energy change occurs when we are adding one electron to the gaseous atom. This is nothing but electron affinity. It is indicated with Ea. Suppose you can take one gaseous atom. A is a gaseous atom. To this one, you are going to add one electron. Then it will become A minus gaseous ion. See here the energy change for this electron electron affinity will be negative energy. Why it is negative energy? It is always exothermic reaction while adding electron to the outer shell of an atom the energy will be released outside so that it is always a, um, indicated with a negative energy or exothermic reaction. Here electron affinity have types that nothing but uh, first electron affinity, second electron affinity, third, fourth like that. We are going to discuss about first and second one. Uh, first electron affinity is what? The enthalpy change when we are going to add one mole of electron to the one mole of gaseous atom, then it will form one mole of singly negatively charged gaseous ion. That is nothing but e electron affinity 1 at standard conditions. Uh, see, I am going to take sulfur as an example. For sulfur, I am going to add one electron. Um, so, it will become S minus gaseous ion. This is the singly negatively charged ion. Here Ea1 is equal to minus 200 kilojoule per mole. See, this is the Ea1. Okay. Then coming to the Ea2, nothing but ele second electron affinity or electron affinity 2. What is this Ea2? Ea2 is nothing but when we are, I mean the energy change happens when we are going to add 1 mole of electron to the 1 mole of singly negatively charged gaseous ion at standard conditions, then it will form doubly negatively charged gaseous ion. That is nothing but Ea2. See, S minus gaseous ion, I am going to take to this one, I am going to add um, one more electron so that it will become S2 minus or S minus 2. Okay, this is also a gaseous ion. But one thing you are going to observe here Ea2 is equal to plus 640 kilojoule per mole. Just remember what is the variation <coughs> Ea1 and Ea2. Ea1 is the Actually, in the previous condition, we have already discussed it is the exothermic reaction. So, that energy is going to be released. It is always indicated with a negative energy. But for Ea2, it is positive energy. What is the reason? Because Ea2 always endothermic reaction. Because the reason we will discuss in trends in the electron affinity. Okay? So, this is the 640 kilojoule per mole. This Ea2 is the endothermic reaction. That means we need to provide some energy to add this electron so or positive energy. Remember it. Now going to trends of electron affinity. What are the trends of electron, electron affinity? Nothing but see how the electron affinity changes across the period and how the electron affinity changes from top to bottom that means in groups you can see first one see across the period left to right electron affinity will be increases maximum at group 17 elements okay across the period electron affinity increases it will be maximum at group 17 elements in the same way, from top to bottom, electron affinity will be decreases. What is the reason behind this one? First of all, you can take group 16 elements and group 17 elements. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium and tellurium, fluorine, 
chlorine, bromine, iodine. See here, when compared from chlorine to fluorine to chlorine, electron affinity increases. Just remember it. From chlorine to iodine, electron affinity will be decreases. Just what is the reason behind this one? In the same way, see. From oxygen to sulfur, electron affinity uh, increases. From sulfur to tellurium, electron affinity decreases. What is the reason behind uh, these variations? Actually, uh, in this case, um, you have told me, madam, electron affinity increases across the period. Electron affinity decreases uh, from top to bottom in groups. But what is the variation? Oxygen to sulfur, it will increase. Fluorine to chlorine, it will increase. After that, from sulfur to tellurium and chlorine to iodine, it will decrease. What is the reason behind this one? The reason is seen. Actually, first of all, I am going to tell this reason. Chlorine to iodine and selenium to tellurium. The reason is from top to bottom, number of shells going to be increases. So that the distance present between positively charged nucleus and uh, outer shell going to be uh, increased. If distance will increase, then the nuclear attractions towards the outer shell will be decreases. That is the reason if you are going to add one electron to the iodine, then electron affinity will be decreases. That means the released energy will be decreases. The released energy is nothing but the negative energy will be decreases. In the same way, sulfur to uh, tellurium also the same reason. Okay. Uh, now coming to fluorine to chlorine and oxygen to sulfur. What is the reason behind electron affinity increases? Actually, if the size is less, electron affinity will be more. But fluorine size is less and oxygen size is less. Even though electron affinity will be, uh, uh, I mean, less for fluorine and oxygen. Because, see, this fluorine si uh, atomic size is very less. So that electrons cloud will be increases on outer shell. So that if you are going to add one electron to the outer shell, at that time, <coughs> the electron, more electron cloud is there already in the chlorine shell, uh, not chlorine, fluorine shell, so that it will repels or it will shields the newly coming electron towards the nuclear attractions. That is the reason uh, fluorine electron affinity decreases and chlorine electron affinity increases. The same reason applicable for oxygen and sulfur also. Um, see one more thing, if nuclear attractions are more, the electron affinity will be more. You can remember it. See, nuclear uh, attractions more than electron affinity will also be more. Uh, this is about uh, this class. Uh, I hope you are all understand about this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, don't forget to post your doubts in uh, comment box. We will meet in the next class. Bye students.